like I've never talked to a camera before. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine and I'm the owner of Brown Sugar Skincare. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my nighttime jelly. Uh, this is a turmeric and face... This is a turmeric and spinach face wash. I specifically wanted to show you guys how I make this face wash because the formula is extremely easy and it's tweakable. The extracts that I use, you don't need to use them. You can change them for any other fruit extract, any other additive. You will just have to make sure that you're following the correct um, usage percentage rate. For the most part, I use all the ingredients at a pretty low rate. So you can follow the exact recipe and change it up or do whatever you want. If you want to see how I created this face wash, then keep on watching. Well, here is my formula. Um, feel, screenshot, whatever you want to do. This is the exact percentages and everything that I use to make this face wash. And once again, you can change it to whatever you want to use. If you don't have more than one scale, I do recommend buying some off of Amazon. The top two that I'm holding, um, they're all from Amazon. They're great. What I like to do is combine phase A into one bowl. I do measure them obviously in separate bowls and then I just pour it all into one. So this is the distilled water and then I will include the cocoa glucoside and BSB surfactant. Once I have incorporated everything relatively well in one bowl, I will do phase B, which is glycerin and xanthan gum. And then in another bowl, I will weigh out the turmeric powder, turmeric essential oil, sorry, turmeric extract, lemon essential oil, spinach extract, all the liquids. This is the turmeric powder, and if you don't know what turmeric does for the skin, you're missing out. This is the most amazing natural skin brightening ingredient I have ever, ever used. Um, and the next ingredient is my lemon essential oil, which is amazing for killing bacteria that can get trapped in the pores and cause breakouts, so I love it. This one is also my turmeric oil version. And then the last ingredient that I include in this section is my spinach extract, which is amazing for strengthening and moisturizing and restoring the skin's natural like glow. It also helps reduce the appearance of sand damage and dark spots. So in addition to the turmeric and lemon, this is just an amazing overall glowy face wash that won't leave the skin feeling dry. All right, the way I like to incorporate everything together is by doing all the liquids and then adding the thickening agents after. So I will add phase C, which is the lemon turmeric, that mixture, into phase A, which is my distilled water and surfactants. You will see when I pour it in that it turns like a relatively bright red. Um, that will get toned down once we add in the citric acid and distilled water mixture to help balance the pH as well. But so after I pour it in, I will stick blend it and then once that's all incorporated, that's when I add in my distilled water to balance the pH before I add in my preservative because the preservative needs to be added in at a certain pH level. And don't mind this dirty looking bowl, it's all, it's all going into one mixture so it's not a big deal. You'll see here that after it's been poured in, it does lighten quite a bit. And so after that's all incorporated well, then I'll add in my preservative. And once I add that into the full mixture, that's when I like to add in the thickening agent because after you add in the thickening agent, which is the xanthan gum and glycerin, it's pretty hard to like make sure that everything is incorporated really well.
so you'll see like right about here that it's starting to get a little thicker and jelly and the bubbles won't go away that's how i know that i'm i'm on i'm on track Just like me. And there you have the complete face wash. I love this recipe because it doesn't require any heating or anything like that. Just make sure that you test out the pH levels and make sure that it's not too drying for the skin or that it's cleansing enough and, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, so feel free to use this formula for any face wash that you want to create. You can use any additive fruit extract. Once again, I'm just gonna reiterate, make sure that you are following the correct usage percentage rates. It might be a little confusing, but Google is your best friend, I promise. And of course, once you're done, if you plan on selling, make sure you create your labels, following the correct labeling guides. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any other ideas or questions or anything, please comment.